What we just saw was the Seizen Heiho. Heiho, as we saw in so many videos, is a strategy study. And when we talk about Seizen, if we, if we fragmentize the word, we'll see that Sei comes from equal, similar. And Zen comes from the Mai, Kanji, that remember is in front of. So in this case, I will be in front of the opponent and I'm going to really comport myself, be, uh, behave myself just like her in this case. So she's going to step forward to draw. Now, if I don't step forward, she will have all space she needs to draw completely and then I will be in a risky situation. So I will also step forward and I'm going to reduce this area, reduce this my and I'm going to block her movement just by starting my draw. So in this case, I'm going to use the mune, the back part of the blade, to block her blade. And now we could both use strength to try to regain distance or to neutralize the opponent's uh, movement. So as you see here, I have my, my right hand next to her head and my sword is over hers. So I'm going to draw more the sword and in this case I'm going to open my arm with a shoulder movement and pass the sword over her shoulder. So now, as if you remember, we, we were talking that here is the mune and this is the sharp edge, the ha. The ha goes on her neck because I'm forcing my tsuba and I'm uh, contracting my arm and my shoulder close to her head so she won't be able to try to neutralize or regain a kind of vantage position by impacting against me. So I have my shoulder here protecting myself and if you remember she didn't draw completely the sword. So on that lateral we have the saya and her forearm. What makes me comfortable on stepping close to her even more because there's no risk to my ribs area with her sword at all. So if we turn around, you see that here I have a very good body position. Okay, no risk of any kind because of the blade and the half is on her throat. So my left hand is free. So I'm going to pass my left hand and turn her around. So now she is completely uh, uncomfortable with the blade in her throat and all the energy block on the lower back. So I'm going to use this as a leverage to bring her down with the sharp edge on her throat. Just by bringing the, the blade lateral, now because this is very important, I'm going to blend the blade lateral so the sharp edge will be completely on her neck and pass my forearm over the lateral area of the blade and my hand goes on my forearm so I'm going to choke also so I, I'm pressing the ha against the neck and throat and with the forearm I'm pressing also the lateral area just by applying that strength over the articles and, and the veins that we have here. Okay, so we have the arteries, the veins, the whole circulatory system that is very important on this area will be pressed also by the forearm. So that's uh, the, the technique that we are seeing to simplify the seiza and heiho. Thank you.